Welcome to my passion travel channel and I invite you I make content on tourism and subscribe to my channel and put a little like. Manuel Antonio National Park Manuel Antonio National Park is a protected area located on the central Pacific coast of Costa Rica. It is known for its stunning natural beauty and diverse wildlife, making it a popular destination for ecotourism. The park is named after the town of Manuel Antonio, which is located nearby. The park covers an area of 4,014 acres, 1,624 hectares, and includes both land and marine environments, with over 100 species of mammals and 180 species of birds. Some of the animals that can be spotted in the park include howler monkeys, white-faced capuchin monkeys, sloths, iguanas, and a variety of bird species. There are several hiking trails within the park, which provide visitors with the opportunity to explore the lush rainforest, as well as the park's beaches, which are some of the most beautiful in the country. The park also offers a variety of other activities, such as snorkeling, scuba diving, and kayaking. Manuel Antonio National Park is a popular destination, so it's important to plan ahead and make reservations in advance, especially during peak tourist season. Visitors are also reminded to follow park rules and regulations to help preserve the park's natural beauty and protect the wildlife that calls it home. The Irazu Volcano The Irazu Volcano is an active volcano located in the Central Valley region of Costa Rica, approximately 31 kilometers northeast of the city of San Jose. It is the highest active volcano in Costa Rica, standing at an elevation of 3,432 meters above sea level. The Irazu volcano has a complex of several craters, the largest of which is the Diego de la Hea crater. This crater is approximately 1 kilometer in diameter and 300 meters deep, and it contains a greenish-yellow lake with a high concentration of sulfuric acid. The Irazu volcano has had several significant eruptions throughout its history, including a major eruption in 1963 that caused significant damage to surrounding towns and cities. Since then, the volcano has been relatively quiet, with occasional minor eruptions and seismic activity. Today, the Irazu volcano is a popular tourist attraction, with visitors coming to see its impressive crater and scenic views of the surrounding countryside. There are also hiking trails and picnic areas available for visitors to enjoy. However, visitors should exercise caution and follow all safety guidelines, as the volcano is still considered to be an active and potentially dangerous natural feature. Monteverde Cloud Forest Biological Reserve Monteverde Cloud Forest Biological Reserve is a protected area located in the northern part of the Puntarenas and Alajuela provinces of Costa Rica. The reserve covers an area of approximately 10,500 hectares and is known for its incredible biodiversity and unique cloud forest ecosystem. The reserve is home to more than 2,500 plant species, including a large number of orchids, bromeliads, and ferns. It also supports a diverse array of animal species, such as the endangered Quetzal bird, the three waddled bellbird, howler monkeys, sloths, and various species of bats and butterflies. The reserve is popular among tourists and researchers alike, as it provides an opportunity to study the unique cloud forest ecosystem and observe the many species of plants and animals that call it home. There are several hiking trails throughout the reserve, ranging from easy to challenging, and visitors can also take guided tours to learn more about the area's ecology and conservation efforts. Overall, Monteverde Cloud Forest Biological Reserve is a valuable and fascinating destination for anyone interested in nature and the environment. Mount Churipo Mount Churipo is the highest mountain in Costa Rica, with an elevation of 3,820 meters, 12,530 feet, above sea level. It is located in the Churipo National Park, which is part of the Talamanca Mountain Range in southern Costa Rica. The mountain is considered a sacred site by the indigenous people of the region, and it is a popular destination for hikers and nature enthusiasts. The Churipo National Park is home to a diverse range of flora and fauna, including various species of birds, mammals, and plants. The park encompasses an area of approximately 50,000 hectares, 123,500 acres, 
and it includes several ecosystems, such as cloud forests, oak forests, and paramo. Hiking to the summit of Mount Churupo is a challenging but rewarding experience. And it usually takes two to three days to complete. Visitors must obtain a permit in advance to access the park, and they are required to stay in one of the park's designated campsites or lodges. The hike to the summit offers stunning views of the surrounding landscape, including the Caribbean and Pacific coasts, and on a clear day, even neighboring countries such as Panama and Nicaragua can be seen from the summit. The Beaches of the Guanacaste Peninsula I apologize for the confusion in my previous response. The Guanacaste Peninsula is a region in Costa Rica that is known for its beautiful beaches, but it is not a city. The closest major city to the Guanacaste Peninsula is Liberia, which is the capital city of the province of Guanacaste. Liberia is a popular gateway to the beaches of the Guanacaste Peninsula, with an international airport and many accommodations and amenities for visitors. From Liberia, it's easy to access the beautiful beaches of the Guanacaste Peninsula, including Playa Tamarindo, Playa Flamingo, Playa Conkel, Playa Hermosa, and Playa Grande, among others. Rinson de la Vieja National Park Rinson de la Vieja National Park is a protected area located in the Guanacaste province of northwestern Costa Rica. The park covers an area of 14,084 hectares, 34,800 acres, and is named after the Rinson de la Vieja volcano, which is the largest and most active volcano in the Guanacaste mountain range. The park is known for its rich biodiversity and geothermal activity, including hot springs, mud pots, fumaroles, and geysers. There are also several rivers and waterfalls in the park, including the Oropendola Waterfall, La Cangreja Waterfall, and the Blanco River. The park is home to a wide variety of flora and fauna, including over 300 species of birds, 66 species of mammals, and 29 species of reptiles. Some of the most notable animals in the park include jaguars, pumas, ocelots, howler monkeys, and white-faced capuchin monkeys. Visitors to Rinson de la Vieja National Park can enjoy hiking on several well-maintained trails, including the Los Pilos Trail, which passes through the park's geothermal area and offers views of hot springs, mud pots, and fumaroles. Other popular activities in the park include horseback riding, birdwatching, and waterfall rappelling. Overall, Rinson de la Vieja National Park is a must-visit destination for anyone interested in Costa Rica's natural beauty and geothermal wonders. Poe's Volcano National Park Poe's Volcano National Park is a popular tourist destination located in the province of Alajuela, in the central region of Costa Rica. It is home to one of the country's most active volcanoes, Poe's Volcano, which has erupted multiple times in recent history. With the last eruption occurring in 2017, the park covers an area of approximately 16,000 acres and features a diverse range of ecosystems, including cloud forests, highland forests, and tropical rainforests. It is home to many species of flora and fauna, including rare orchids, colorful birds, and the endangered quetzal. The main attraction of the park is the Poe's volcano, which rises to an elevation of 8,885 feet above sea level. Visitors can hike to the edge of the volcano's crater to view its turquoise-colored acidic lake and witness the steam and gases emanating from the volcano. In addition to the volcano, the park also features several hiking trails that lead through the different ecosystems of the park, offering visitors the opportunity to explore the flora and fauna of the region. Visitors should be aware that the park's opening hours are subject to change due to volcanic activity and weather conditions. It is recommended to check the park's website or with local authorities before planning a visit.